Hey guys, I'm in my sunroom with Miss Buffy, the Golden Retriever. She's been with us for about three weeks now and she'll be graduating home real soon. But before she goes, I want to make a video for her family to refer back to whenever they need a reminder or a little help to remember how exactly we use the training, the commands, the e-collar around the house practically using what she learned here. So of course we're going to start with the kettle. And Buffy's going to use this kennel whenever her family cannot keep a close eye on her. So when they're taking a shower, when they're going to work, when they're sleeping, she can go in here and have a nice safe place that they can make comfortable for her to relax. So she can have a bed in there, she can have a blanket, she's got a water bucket, a chew toy, she can have bones. Uh, if there's kids or other animals in the house, she can have her high value treats and her meals in there to keep everybody safe and relaxed around high value resources like that. Even a nice dog can have a little cause of concern when somebody reaches for their treats or another animal tries to steal their food. All right, so when Buffy's in the kennel, I expect calmness and a down stay is nice, but she's just relaxing, that's fine. With the door open or closed. So when the door opens, she does not automatically bolt out. She knows to wait until she's recalled out. If your dog is in the kennel and they are shaking and whining and getting up and down and pacing, that's not a good sign that you not release him from there. If you want your dog to calm down a little bit, down. You can double down her by saying down. You can say shh or N-O. You can simply tap the e-collar at a very low level to remind her, like a tap in the shoulder, hey, calm down. Because we never want to release our dogs when they're in an anxious or anticipating something state. All right, to get her out of the kennel, some people could say break and the dog will run out and be excited. But as you know, we don't want to encourage that kind of excitement around thresholds, crate door, back door, car door, garage door. I don't care what kind of door, it should be calm going in and out. So instead I'm going to recall her out. Buff, come. Good girl. Nice job, look at that beautiful girl. She's so good. Give me that paw. Nice job. She's a really smart girl. All right, so next we're gonna walk around the house a little bit and Buffy's gonna be in a heel. And it might be silly that you have your dog in a heel when you're not even on a walk, but it teaches the dog a nice way to move through the house without barreling from room to room and knocking people over. All right, so I'll tell her, heel, maybe pat my leg, start moving. And you can see she sticks to my left leg like glue. What a good girl. When I stop, she also stops. Good girl, nice job. Heel. So she moves nicely from room to room in a heel. When I stop, she waits. I'm gonna have her down. Good girl, nice job. And relax. Shh, down. Good girl. Buffy did a great job holding that nice, calm down stay while I did some dishes and chores. Now I can show you something else. I can walk into another room, and without saying a word, I can get her in this room, which is really useful if you're on a conference call or a phone call or answering the door, and you wanna make sure you have your dog in your eyesight. Tap the T button, she hears it. Beep, and then she comes to me and looks to me for direction. Hey, hi honey, that was really nice. And from here I can tell her, hey, Buffy, place. She goes and gets on the place beds. Good girl. When she's on the bed, she automatically lies down and she should relax. Now again, on the place bed, she's free to have a nice blanket or a comfy bed. She can chew on a bone, really make it a nice, comfortable place. It's not punishment, it's not doggy prison. It's just a place for her to go and relax. It's like her safe spot, like her own bedroom. Good girl, buff. See that belly? Let me see that belly. Good girl. And people always ask, how long can my dog be on place? And I say, as long as their bladder can go, but I would urge you to be fair to your dog. Make sure you're giving them plenty of breaks to use their brains and stretch their bodies. <laughs> we didn't get a dog just to have them on place all day like a charging pad. Good girl. But I tend to use it when I'm watching a movie with my dog, so that could be up to three hours, when I'm doing office work, when I have people over for dinner. So my dog can still be included, but not underfoot or in a dangerous situation like an open door. Now for the first few months, I would encourage your family to use a tie back, which is a six foot leash that they can shut in a window and have around her just so she can step off and make that mistake. So it's not holding her to the place bed, but she can't get much farther than here. So she can't go off and chase the cat or do naughty things. It just gives you a chance to catch her in the act, right honey? And get her back 
in the right spot. Down. Super job. Nice job. Now, like I said, we did not get a dog to keep them on place all day. So to get her off of the place bed and get her into a play mode, this is on a walk, this is out of her kennel. Wherever you want to use it, you can tell her to. Buffy, good. Notice how when I said her name, she did not anticipate anything. She just looked to me and said yes. Buffy, break, yeah. Break is the magic word. Now she can be silly girl. So break means she's out of command. She's free to grab a toy. She's free to wrestle with you if you like to do that. She's free to go sniff, use the bathroom if you're outside. Play with other dogs. Good job. Break, yeah. Good girl, woohoo. Nice job. And there's that same puppy, happy dog. Has the same great personality. She's just a little bit safer and has more fun. Break.